I set it all up to go and commit suicide. I come back and I told my wife that it's finished. I said, I can't live with this. I said, I'm Scarred sorry. by a scandal. Crimes he did not commit. I was going about ashamed and couldn't look at people, couldn't speak to people and basically kept myself in the four walls. Rab has been living a grim existence after being convicted for shortfalls in the faulty horizon system during his time running the local post office. It kept going up and up to 10,000, 15,000, up to 60,000 eventually. It come the day that they were, uh, I was to find out what was going to happen to me. Two minutes before I was due to go in and see the judge, uh, my lawyer turned around and said to me, just plead guilty. And I said, no, no, no. I said, I don't plead guilty. I said, I've not done nothing wrong. I said, I've told you this for day one. I know, he said, but it'll be easier for you and your family. Rab was one of around 100 people given a criminal record here in Scotland. And so far, only four have had their convictions overturned. The difference here is that unlike in England and Wales, where the post office was acting as a private prosecutor, here, it's the public prosecution service in Scotland who were pursuing cases. And it's emerged that it first became aware of issues with Horizon in 2013, but it didn't stop chasing cases until 2015. During that time, here was Louise in her post office near Glasgow. It was 2014. She was hit with demands to make up a £44,000 loss. She was never convicted and believes it was down to authorities knowing the system was flawed. It's disgusting. Um, at that time as well, we sold our car. We're just, as I say, we're lucky. We've got the family that we have that supported us and... My husband and I have just battled through all of it. That hard-fought battle continues for exactly. Rab. Despite a government commitment, all convictions will be quashed. Tomorrow, his case is being heard in court. Because the pressure is really mounting on me now, especially with, with the, the government coming out and saying they're, they're going to look into it and overturn them, but I've still got to go to court until we get an answer to say everything's abolished, everything's overturned. I've got to love it. I'm still under that pressure. Connor Gillis, Sky News, in Clackmannanshire.